Alright, hey guys, it's me again, you know who I am, and today, I'm here to talk about the new Tonkor. Now, the new Tonkor, there's only really one way to use it now, and if you, that is, if you still want to use it, and honestly, now that literally all the launchers have, like, self-damage, for, with the exception of the Torrid, for obviously reasons, although DE will probably put self-damage on that too, because why fucking not? They've, the Ogre's buff already made that shit way easier to kill yourself with. Now there's this. So, so let me just show you my build real fast. So I added another Forma on my Tonkor. So it's six Forma now. So I have four Vs, two dashes. And uh, what I did with that is I, uh, I needed two extra points to put in Adhesive Blast. And Adhesive Blast gives you time to react to the Blast Radius. Or if you're going to... Uh, use this with a frame, use this with limbo, and get into the rift. And say if there are melee enemies charging you, that's ample time for you to run, uh, get away or get in the rift. So I'm just going to show you how I use this real quickly. So, all I got to do is say a bunch of melee enemies, stick, uh oh. And I'm just going to miss all my shots here. And dodge into the rift. And see you later. Alright. Oh. And let me just... Alright, that one's still alive. I think that's the last one. And see you later. <clears throat> now, I honestly think that the only real way to use this is with Limbo right now. Because don't think I, like stuff like Iron Skin is going to be really useful since you're trying to keep your tankiness up with, say, Rhino. Uh, remove, the getting rid of your Iron Skin is kind of not ideal, if you will. So, uh, And what Adhesive Blast also does really well is it gets rid of that bounce that people are so annoyed with. Although, p personally, I feel like if you were going to adjust to the, the initial bounce um, of the Tonkor... Let's just take that off real nice. I think it's probably good to bounce it off the floor and get a little bit more arc and have that blast right into their face of the enemy. Now, obviously, you wouldn't put Firestorm on this because that, that's going to increase the blast radius and gonna ha have a bigger area of killing yourself. And since this is not a status weapon, that wouldn't be very useful anyways. So, so that's really all you have to do with the new Tonkor. Now, as far as the whole the aiming uh, projectile arc thing, you know, just hold the button, however that kind of shot out. Uh, it, it's not a charge mechanic like we all thought we were. It's just like you hold the the fire button down and to get that uh, projectile arc, and then you release to shoot. But, however, you can still insta-fire it, as you can see right here. So it's not a big deal. The firing hasn't changed that much. It's just that the projectile arc has is not on, like, just aiming down with uh, the weapon anymore. So, but I honestly didn't think that needed to be changed or moved to the primary fire because it was fine when you just aimed and you kind of saw, oh, that, that's where the arc is going to go. You know, you sort of make decisions that there. And I think that would, would have been even better, uh, you know, to uh, have just keep it the way it was. But... And they sort of... Do you sort of try to buff it back to... So it's not too easy to kill yourself with it, this weapon, but it's not that big of a deal. Because you, since we have Limbo and his easy rift mechanics, instead of ha uh, having to rely on something like Natural Talent to get in, in and out of the rift fast, Limbo can just dodge in and out and sort of just bob and weave uh, with the Town Core. This way you don't blow yourself up for obvious reasons. Now, but really that's all that's changed. Honestly, I don't think it's that's sort of worth it to use any of the launchers anymore. Because uh, obviously six format into a weapon that sort of kind of underperforms now is obviously not ideal. And all the launchers now are kind of bad and self damage really doesn't have a place in this game. So I honestly don't see the reason why they don't just remove all the self damage so we can... You'll find a use for launchers now, but this is still the best launcher in the game. 
by far. The ogres buff did did not make it better in any way because the damage is still pitifully low. Sort of like the same the uh, penta and the secure penta are also in the same boat. So those buffs are are not going to help it, and especially that penta nerf to tether grenades is kind of really bad. So don't don't worry about any any of the other launchers. So if you actually still want to use a launcher, this is the launcher you use. I mean, you could use the czar. Zaha has a little bit of less, uh, less self-damage, but the problem with that is, is it's it's self-damage nonetheless. So, I mean, and it only has self-damage on the initial shot, but I honestly don't want to take that risk and make myself look fucking stupid. All, all because of a, a gun I use. So, I'd rather not use any of the launchers. Honestly, if we're going to talk about stuff like AoE weapons... I still think that the uh, Cyanoid Simulator is still going to be the best uh, AoE weapon, even after the changes. Because that status buff is so, so, so good. And I actually used this in the Sortie the other day. Even though now it combines now with the uh, Vortex and makes that a thing. Uh, that's, it still hasn't changed the way you use the weapon at all. Uh, so... It, honestly, if you want to use an AoE weapon at all, uh, pick up the Sino Simulator. Or, hell, even the normal Simulator is, kind of, is decent now. Uh, with the change mechanics, making it... This is actually really, really good. Now, I wish we could have uh, blast, inc uh, what, blast Radius increasing mods on the Sino Simulator. But, honestly, this is totally fine for proccing the status. And if you want to use it with uh, in conjunction with a frame... Saren would be a pretty good frame with, to use, and obviously it's even stronger with Mirage, still. Because of that status and that ridiculous amount of multi-shot they get. Because I can just proc that, and they just kind of spread. I know that Butchers don't have a lot of armor, but I'm just kind of showing you how to use them rather than... Is it this, like, effective against, like, a heavy armor target? Because obviously... I mean, it still strips armor. It's just going to do it way, way slower than it used to. Uh, but and but then again, we have like augments and other weapons that could sort of strip armor. So this stripping armor was just an added bonus, anyways. Um, so yeah, I don't, like even with the extra form on the Tonkor, that's probably the only way you're going to use that now. And even then, there's still better weapons uh, to use now. Before I go. I just kind of want to show you this, so to realize this, that the sign is similar even after the change is not dead. And like I said, it's still going to be super duper strong with Mirage, and Mirage especially, because of her clone's multi shot. And since they can create multiple vortexes, you sort of get the same effect as the old Simulor, there's the armor gone. And, uh, yeah, this is still pretty good. I mean, sure, I use a lot, uh, quite a bit of ammo. But, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Since it's using rifle ammo, and rifle ammo is the most common ammo type in the game. And you can just pick that up and be on your merry way. So, there's that. And as far as another, uh, Tonkor alternative, I believe that instead of looking in the primaries, I believe you should take a look at the, uh, Static core. There's a Sonic core, but I don't really like the Sonic core all that well. But um, Static core. This is probably another good uh, Tonkor core alternative for cloud, uh, crowd clear and you know popping Saren spores if you really want to. But let me just show you that uh, here. So let's swap that. Now, I should probably show you my build. Uh, before I do this, but I have like one form on this. Obviously, I can use more uh, to fit more more damage or you know more status or whatever I feel like, honestly. But Sadakor is a great weapon, and and if you just sort of feel like you're missing like an AOE weapon in your life, I guess, or in your Warframe experience, then definitely give also the Sadakor a try, for sure. Now. With uh, the static core's uh, fire mechanic, it is a sort of it sort of counts as a thrown weapon. However, it has a charge mechanic, so like a kamehameha, you release it and it procs a bunch of status, 
like radiation. It's basically proc almost all the uh, status on your weapon. And you can see the enemies are fighting each other. That's a good escape. Say if the enemy is just too strong and the weapon the damage falls off. Proc a bunch of status. Proc corrosive. Proc radiation. Proc some heat. Why don't you? And does the job just fine. So let's just add a couple bombards just to just show you how nuts this could be uh, with as far as utility and a like AOE clear. And this is definitely really good in uh, like stuff like infest, uh, infested excavation like Hirakon. Yeah, look at all that status it procs. And obviously I can quick fire it as well. I don't have to charge it. So if I just want to spam, I can do that as well. And obviously with all those corrosive procs, that target's dead. And let me just show you this back on the primary fire. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Did I accidentally kill her? Yeah, I did. But I, but you don't you don't have to charge it. But I think that char the charging mechanic is a lot of fun. But if you just want some quick DPS on the target, primary fire has got you covered. Armor's gone. I can just go Kamehameha. And uh, blow my... Orb up on it. But yeah, that's a static core for you. Lot, lots of status. Uh, probably a pretty good uh, tongue core replacement if I do save so myself, and it doesn't have fucking self damage, as you can tell. Because obviously, if this this if this was able to do self damage, then we'd have a real real problem on our hands because you'd be able to proc radiation on yourself. Since this is, I believe this is, does innate radiation damage, and obviously innate uh, radiation damage uh, is also able to, you know, proc, um, what it does is it enables friendly fire, basically, and you really don't want that. So that's mostly the reason why this bad boy doesn't do self-damage, uh, which is totally fine. So yeah, just my two cents, uh, Cyanode Simulator is still fine, a and honestly, if you want, like... And the static core is also pretty good as well. Uh, you could also argue that this the static core is better than the Sino Simulator, but that that's just an argument for another day and another time. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.